Hey guys, it is August 107 here, and I got a sp surprise for you guys. Okay, you guys are gonna think, well, you can, well, like, whoa, that's nice, that's nice, that's really cool, and stuff. But, thing I'm gonna show you is, you, you guys all have seen my other video, my, my, my 1983, 1984 Honda XR250R, go ahead and leave a comment down below saying, um, dirt bike bro, um, hashtag dirt bike bro. And if you haven't, go check that video out. It is three videos away from this one. I posted it about two, three weeks ago. And anyway, my thing is that I just got myself a 2019 KLX 140G big wheel. You probably guys are all thinking, whoa, that's sick. It is sick. You probably you guys can see it's dirty right now. It's a little, not too dirty. But I was gonna do this video about me riding, but I kind of left my screw, my little screw that attached to my GoPro, to my chest mount. I left that at home, so I could not, I was not able to do that. But anyway, this thing rips. If you don't think this thing rips, oh, just look, little trail bike, you know, 140, probably goes no more than about 50 miles an hour. That is kind of true. It does 55. That's 55 miles an hour. But from zero to 55, it goes quick. Like, it seems like it has more power. And it's, like, way wicked. And you probably guys could see in the background, our other two bikes are... My, actually, it's my Honda XR250R and my little brother's um, XR250... X, XR80. I don't know why I said two, XR250, but I'm, I'm, so, I'm so impressed with my XR250 because I rode it today. And I was doing, and I, that wheel back wheel just spun and spun and spun. And my stepdad, well, soon to be stepdad, wrecked the bike. You can see a little dirt here, scratched a tiny bit right there. I don't know if that's new. I'm going to have to look at the pictures. But I made this little increase right here. But he wasn't too happy about it. I mean, I didn't really care because I got, <laughs> I got that. But still, the bike's good. The carburetor, there's something wrong with the carburetor. We're probably going to put a brand new carburetor on it there's two carbs to it two of them so yeah I'm gonna have to replace one of them I think it's the one that's leaking duh anyway nothing about that bike let's talk about this bike this bike so far has bought me glory it's good runs fast and you're probably thinking how, long, how many times did it take you to kickstart it one thing it doesn't have a kickstart Electric start. Thing rips. Thing could go to zero. The 16 seems like in like two seconds. Probably didn't see that. I'll do it one more time. Three more rips mad. just got it um i just got the thing broke in so now i can just go rip and tear as fast as hard as i want to and brand new tires full take of gas when i first bought it i wasn't able to do it yesterday because we did purchase it yesterday but there was something wrong with the idling it wasn't idling right so the mechanic um fixed it so we got it today and this is june 3rd and we bought it on nope not June 3rd, June 4th. It's June 4th right now. We bought it June 3rd of 2019, and it's 2000. And this is a 2019 model, brand spanking new bike. I saw it in there about about three months ago. They literally had it in there for about a week, so things only sat for about I don't know nine, ten weeks, something like that. 10, 15, 10, 10 or 11 weeks. It's been sitting there. It's a few little. Uh, kinks here and there things the thing is awesome we got a nice little goody basket i am not wearing any of the things that i have gotten the goody get goody basket but in a moment but next video i'll show you all the stuff i got okay but this thing rips and tears never had a thing wrong with it of course spot it the only thing that 
I really, really do like about it that stands out the most is that it's super, super light. Super light. Like, way lighter than my XR250. R. That thing weighs, it seems like 300 pounds. That thing weighs, it seems like 300 pound bike. It probably is, probably a little more. I don't know. That bike weighs 165. The bike, um, that's, that bike I originally was gonna get was six pounds lighter, six pounds heavier, I mean. Um, it was, it was going, it was gonna be a Kawasaki KX100. And instead, I was thinking about it because, you know, it would be a nice bike, but I would have to wait a couple more weeks because they didn't order them yet. You know, we're gonna order them in a couple weeks. But I decided, you know what? I kind of, I've been riding trail bikes my whole life. Well, my, my whole life, but you know, for about six, seven months. I remember I, I rode, my first dirt bike I've ever ridden was a Kawasaki KX um, 110. Automatic. Thing seemed like same thing. I thought a thing. I ripped on it. I I think I shifted on it. I'm not too for sure if I shifted or not. I know I tried to shift, but I'm not too for sure if I shifted or not. Anyway, that was my first bike I rode, and ever since that day, I always wanted a Kawasaki. But then the Kawasaki Green started to grow on me because I didn't really care for the green because you know my whole life I've been liking green. So I got that bike and I bought that bike I'm gonna say about two months ago three months ago somewhere in there or bought it somewhere in May ripped and tear on it and then it just stopped working because the carburetor went out so, I go, so we're gonna replace the new carburetor the guy next door cleaned it it's really good I've done only one thing to it I rechanged the spark plug but other than that things ripping fine this thing's gonna last me. I expect for no, no, nothing wrong with it for at least four years, four or five years before something actually out, actually goes out on it. I'm talking about like the tires. Four or five years, the tires should be going out. If I ride it every single weekend, I'm gonna, I'm, I, will, I want it, the tires to last me for about four or five years. Probably not gonna happen. Maybe I don't know. I don't really know the length tithe. If you know the length of the wheels, it actually matters about how much you rip and tear. But if you guys know the average um, rip and tear of the wheel goes away, how, how long does it stay? Leave, let me know in the comments. But other than that, this bike, so much fun. I love it. And the best part about it is it's the electric start. And the choke is up here. The choke is right here. Electric start. Just push this down, light comes on, press that, turns right on. Look, I only have to go like, look, I only have to do this. Like that, just a little quick little button. So easy, so easy. My, oh, actually, it's not really mine, it's my dad's. He's more likely going to sell it. He has an Articat 1999 Articat 500. And we were just like pushing that button for like two minutes straight before the thing it actually runs. Like, jin, 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 jin. And finally, sometimes it goes spits out smoke. Carburetor's gone on it, but this thing is so light and feels so comfortable. I had, I was nervous. I really was nervous when I was riding it because I didn't want to wreck it. And my little brother was saying, "Hey, let me ride it." So I gave him, I let him ride it. I didn't let him ride in the stuff we were first riding. That's how. My brother, my brother wrecked too. My, that's how my brother wrecked and my stepdad wrecked. It was in that spot, so I said, no, we're gonna go on the road. There's a real road where we put the, parked the van. We got these bikes, we're back with the trailer. I said, hey, he can ride up, up and down that road, but we're not ri he's not riding this bike in this stuff. And he said, okay. So he went up, so we went up there riding. We rode for, a couple, for about, about an hour up there. And thing was so much fun. We finally got to put the bikes away. It was disappointing to put the bikes in the um away, but I love this bike. Anyway, guys, that is gonna be it. If you want, here, let me get a quick view of it like that. This thing's super light. Everything clutch real easy, smooth. It's a little tight, but not as tight as my XR250. 
because you know the older bikes have a little tighter clutch but this bike I love never will doubt it things feel so nice but I don't know you guys need to tell me this because I don't know really know much about repairing bikes but about the front forks but when I went down it sounded like it was like like a thump, 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 like like a like a thump thump 